Well, a win today for the federal government at the Supreme Court of Canada. In a split decision, the High Court ruled that the federal government has the right to order the destruction of Quebec's federal gun registry data, but all three Quebec judges on the court disagreed. With more on what it all means, let's bring in CTV parliamentary reporter Katie Simpson. So, Katie, what does this ruling mean? Well, it means that the government was legally sound in making that decision to order the destruction of those gun registry records. Of course, the province of Quebec had argued all the way to the Supreme Court that they wanted to keep that data to be able to use it for their own gun registry. But the Supreme Court, as you mentioned, in a split five to four decision, ruled that the federal government was within the law to make that law in to put that law into place so moving forward what this means the federal government can destroy that data but they don't have to uh, Quebec has said that they're open to keeping the data but with word of what the Supreme Court decided this morning they say whether they have the data or not they will go it alone so Katie what was the argument from the dissenting judges well, their argument was that this was not a criminal law matter. Uh, with the majority of the judges, they said that this is an issue of criminal law and that the federal government has every right to create that law. Uh, but the dissenting judges had said that this is more a matter of civil property rights. This is not a criminal law matter and that Quebec, uh, that the law is unconstitutional. However, the dissenting judges did find that there's no obligation for the federal government to hand that data over. That would have to be an agreement Upon, between the two governments. Uh, but what we've seen from the federal government is they have argued staunchly that they would like this data destroyed. All of the other provinces, including Ontario, have destroyed the data and did so a long time ago when the ending the Long Gun Registry Act became law. It was just Quebec that held on to that data in the hopes of adding it to a provincial database on uh, long arm gun, gun owners in that province. CTV's Katie Simpson. Thank you, Katie. Morning. We understand. You have to understand. I still understand that I haven't given much attention to the court decision, but I can make initial remarks. The ruling very carefully yet. The court has spoken. We have to respect the court's decision, as always. It's very important to do so. I believe that what was in play in the constitutional uh, point of view is just to what extent uh, the court decisions are a constitutional uh, obligation and the judges have deliberated and they came with a minority decision so there is no obligation to uh, transmit the registry to the government of Quebec which is certain on the other hand is that we the liberals we would have done that because this is our conception of cooperation that must exist between two levels of government the Conservative government does not respect the uh, principle of cooperation, and this is uh, very, uh, very much too bad, and we don't agree with them. Cooperation is a constitutional obligation between two orders of governments. The court spoke very clearly, and we need to respect the, the ruling and to read the dissident ruling as well. But one thing is sure, politically speaking, we liberals we would have cooperated with the province. Uh, we think the conservative government has a poor political understanding of what cooperation is in a good federalism. So, what do you have to say about the three Quebec judges are against it? What's the impact? Well, listen, this is something that happens very often. So, you can't say that there's a pattern, as you would say in good French. So, in this case, we can see that there's a perspective that these judges had, and at the end of the day, you have to accept a minority judge, or majority judgment. And what about the Conservatives? Well, it's rather a sad victory because it's a victory that shows that this government is not interested in cooperation. It wouldn't have been very difficult to hand over the data to the Quebec government. Uh, I think it's not a pattern. It happened in this case, but we cannot say that it's something that is happening very often. Most of the time, Quebec judges, when the, uh, there is a, a split decision, Quebec judges are from both sides. In this case, they were on one side. No, Mr. Dion, what is the consequence? No, oh, this is a court decision. But to hand it over or not? Well, this is a political government, a decision from the government of Canada. 
Uh, what about this political decision? To me, the government of Quebec wanted this data. Uh, if it were up to me, there would have been cooperation. And to destroy them is really, from a point of view, uh, uh, federalist cooperation is, is really too bad. What would you say to the government of Quebec who wanted to put up a registry for long guns and now can't? What advice do you give them? I'm not in a position to give advice. I'm just saying that it's uh, even more difficult now for it to act now without the cooperation from the government of Canada and would have had from a liberal government. And I'm in no position to give them advice. All I can say is that we would have fully cooperated with them, the province. You were part of a government who believed in the Longan Registry. Do you still believe in the need for a registry? We believe in a need to have uh, to control uh, very strictly the long guns, uh, but we're not going to support this registry. By the federal government, it was to hinder or harm the provinces. Well, uh, I, I would say that the um, the court spoke, so we'll ask, respect the decision. From a political perspective, I would agree that it's very bad federalism to not uh, uh, cooperate with the province in, in giving the data. It would not have been difficult for the conservative government to do so, and they did not do it for ideological decisions. Uh, that, that the court, in a majority decision, said it's not a constitutional obligation. I would say, though, that it's, an, it's a political uh, necessity when you, you want to cooperate uh, with your constitutional partner. There are sovereigns who see an argument for independence of Quebec now. Would you not be adding water or oil to the fire? Not at all. We have respect for all of them. We have respect for the judgment. The independence uh, that you're talking about, uh, not all, but some, of course, are ready to criticize any decision made as an argument. And once again, we can't make it a political rule in Canada. If you look at the three Quebec judges and their judgment, and when there's a majority rather than unanimous uh, judgment, they're usually on both sides. It's very rare to see all three on the side, on one side. It's not always the case. Do you see this uh, end of the long gun registry as the end of a long saga in politics? We won't recreate it, but what we'll do is make sure that uh, firearm control is very done. And now there's a new battle, which includes, again, both uh, federal and government, uh, provincial government, through the C-42, where Harper is preventing provinces from exercising their authority on, on the gun trafficking. And as you see, again, he's going too far, and this is something we're wondering about uh, certain aspects of that bill, but preventing uh, provinces to play a role to see that all weapons are, are safe in Canada. You don't want a registry, but you want a control. Yes, we want circulation of guns. We're working with provinces to make sure that it's done safely in Canada and not the way the Conservative government wants to do. We just want to make sure that it's the experts and the RCMP who control the firemen and not ministers like the Conservatives want, and it continues. We have a Prime Minister who has declared use uh, your guns when the police are far um, away from you. So how far is this going to go? So it's bad federalism because... Stefan Dion reacting to the Supreme Court decision. It says the federal government has the right to order the destruction of Quebec's federal gun registry data. All three Quebec judges uh, disagreed. Uh, all three Quebec judges on the high court disagreed with this decision. We're expecting more reaction uh, in the moments to come.